I think when I first began preaching, I look back with horror to recognize that uh, I was preaching at a little country church while I was still in seminary, driving over on Sundays an hour or so to a, a church of uh, farming and mining people. And I would actually take my systematics theology notes into the pulpit and uh, teaching them systematic theology I thought was preaching. And uh, I think my one piece of advice would be to say, deeper study is important, but it is not what is most important for the sermon. As important as deeper study is deeper understanding of the people to whom you're speaking. And that understanding is moving us from what I think of as factoid messages. Let me just give you a lot of biblical facts. Let me give you a lot of biblical information to say as important for me giving you the meaning of the text is the significance of the text. What difference does this make in your life? What difference does this make for the way you live and treat your kids? I mean, I, I think back to the, the awfulness of people who were patient with me and I'm, I'm kind of uh, giving them the, the Greek and the Latin for tapioca and, and they're at the same time saying, Pastor, my daughter didn't get home last night. Do you, do you understand what I'm going through? Do you, do you understand what my life is like? And that's reminding us that our preaching is not just about deeper study of the text. It is about understanding God's people. We, we say exegeting the congregation as well as the text. But so much of that is just pastoral sensitivity. Are we willing to think not just of information in the text, but the situations that our people are facing? And, and that means I think almost all of us have this ideal image of what it would be to be in a, in a church that gave us 40 hours a week just to write a sermon. And we think, I could produce masterpieces. You probably could not. Because if you just isolated away in the study, you might have wonderful truths to say about the meaning of God's word, but it would not touch the earth that people live and walk on. And so I would say my, my best piece of advice would be understanding that as important as the study of the word is understanding the situations of the people for whom God has made you responsible. So bring the word, the truth of the word, to the struggles of God's people, and that will add uh, great significance to what you're saying and great power to the truth of God's word.